every squad can give any team a run for their money. Playing the Classic 8 prepares us really well for the playoffs. We were a six seed last year and knocked off the 3-2 and 1 seed. Which is exactly why Kettle Moraine didn't blink when it was time to face undefeated McGuanago. We just felt really good. I think we really clicked as a unit this game and we were all just playing together, hyping each other up. It's just really great being out there with those guys and I think the good momentum just went our way and we just kept going with it. It's great to score first. We came out in the second half, got the ball again, scored on the first drive and Adam Reif with the pick six sealing it off. That was that was really this, the uh, final blow. Through seven weeks, 28 points wouldn't be enough to take down the Indians, but week eight it was because of the Lasers defense keeping the Indians to a shocking single score. We think we have a great defense, one of the best in the state, if not the best. Um, we know they like to run the ball. That's what they tried to do in the start. We shut them down, got them into passing situations, and uh, our corners played a great game. If you ask the Lasers, it's only an upset to those outside their locker room. You know, this was obviously the goal for us to win a Classic 8, and going into our last game playing for a Classic 8 championship is, that's that's what we want. Their final opponent, four-time conference champion Muskego. That said, the game plan remains unchanged. It's the same thing. I mean, we've been playing well together, just keep it up. Uh, defense will have the offensive back, offenses will have the defensive back. So um, it's just keep on playing what we're playing, and um, We'll see what happens. Congratulations, Kendall Moraine. You're the Friday Football Frenzy Team of the Week for knocking off the number one team in the state. Keep it up, and we hope to see you at Camp Randall. Was Delaney's tongue firmly planted in her cheek when she said, we'll see you at Camp Randall, or do you think they can go all the way? Oh, my gosh. When they all played, they all, so many of them had a great game on Friday. So, I mean, I'm not a big football analyst or anything like that, but when they play as a team, obviously great things can happen. And they, I mean, it wasn't a squeaker. I mean, this is, it was not yeah. even a contest. Right, but, I mean, it's only, it's only, we're talking about it because, you know, Muskego is, is, is such, or McGuanago is such yeah. a great program.